ke emi mona le aus lisbeth ya na question for our teacher in studio mara pele hamo e re fela ke ke motsebe a bona ke tse bore ke motha joang a ratang eng sa o bona wensis ya do men o o mosotho na ke motswana o motswana a maitso re ka bua se joana o siame ya ke siame e nke o mpolele ga nyane ka wena gore o motho o motho o jang e motlhomongwe ke eng dilo tso di ratang go dira ka nako ya ga go faolo kwa gae ah lise ke motho quite usually o shy but only those friends when gore they call themselves freak buddies but naka spare time saka i usually write poems or just solve equations some math do physics that's what i do cuz Konoaka, oh, hang to me, like it's a good and have fun like other kids. I am Tanu Gokwak. Yeah, she's a good one. So, you're a poet, eh? Yeah, just two lines. <laughs> a copy of myself. I am the copy of myself. I am who I am, not who I want to be or I might be in life. Hmm. I am who I am. Aye. So, Zuilege, what is your question to our teacher? My question to our teacher is that how do we simplify expression using compound and double angles? Compound and double angles. Ada, this is trigonometry. And you know what students do in Mzanzi? They become like flies. What's the Zulu word for a fly? You know those things that fly around? Uh -huh, Impugani. Impugani. Mm -hmm. Now, to, you know what students do? They see trigonometry and they fly away. They become flies. Some of you fly away. Today I'm going to call, take your wings off. You're going to be a fly without wings. And I'm going to call you a walk. Today you're a walk. You're going to be walking here while we do compound. Now you're not flying away. Okay, here we go. Compound and double angles. So all the walks are going to be listening. Here. Okay, compound angles. Okay, what are these things, guys? New formulas. Here we go. Now they give you these on the formula sheet. Sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Don't worry about it in the textbooks. You prove these things, but we're gonna be using them and, and, and that's cool. And the main thing is to know how to use these things. Now you all, you grade 12 know some trigonometry here. And by the way, if you're really struggling with grade 11 and 10 trigonometry, Moby School, all you have to do is go to Moby School, it says mixitapp.com, forward slash Moby School, and you can get all these grade 10, 11 lessons on trigonometry, but I'm focusing on grade 12 now, so you've got to listen to me. Okay, these are new formulas, but you mustn't fly away now. Hey, you be one of those things, those, those, those things that walk. Okay. I can't even yeah. imagine it. <laughs> yeah. Cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B, and cos A minus B, notice they compound because we're adding. Now these formulas have been proved, they give it to you on the formula sheets, and we use them, and they are brilliant formulas, okay? The guys in studio, we were talking about this before the show, and they love it. Hey, you love compound angles, hey? And the double angles, are you feeling double? Watch this, sine two theta is two sine cos. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Now my friend, cos two theta, this guy has got three personalities, is a multifaceted little expression. The first thing for cos two theta is cos squared minus sine squared, or 2 cos squared theta minus 1, or 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Now that's a bit tricky, because we're going to have to use that formula sometime, okay? So we've got the double angles, sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta, and the compound where we add or subtract angles, okay? Now watch out guys for this, this is grade 11 work. Tan is sine over cos, and don't forget that cos squared plus sine squared is simunye, we are one, Mzanzi. Okay, you got it there. So simunye, we are one, isn't that nice? <laughs> cos squared plus sine squared is one, but cos squared minus sine squared is cos two x, okay, or two theta there. And remember this, this is so important. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna do some examples using these formulas. Now have a look at this. Determine the value of this expression without using a calculator. Okay, sine of negative 285 degrees. Now come on, if you go back to grade 11, what did we do? Do you remember what we did about the sine of the negative angles? We don't like negative angles. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down, have a look here. If you remember this, Ada remembers this clearly. Do you remember the sine of a negative angle and the cos of a negative angle and the tan of a negative angle? Do you remember that? Now remember, if you sin, sinning, 
is negative and it leads to negative consequences. Okay, if I, if I steal from Shane, then he's, he's going to go and report me and I'm going to go to jail. Okay, if I tan Ada, I hit her, I tan her, wow. what's Ada going to do? She's going to hit me back. It's negative consequences. So watch this. When you're talking of, of the sign of a negative angle and tan, the negatives come out. But now listen, boys. When your girlfriend is sad and she's feeling blue, what are you going to do? You get cozy with her, get cozy. Cause of a negative, she becomes positive. So cause of a negative is the cause of theta there. Look at that, isn't that romantic? Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember, cause is getting cozy with your baby. Okay, you got it there. <laughs> but sinning and tanning someone is a negative thing. Okay, so look at this, this is a sign of a negative. So what happens to the negative? Comes out, okay, so look at this. So here we go, let's have a look at this. Don't you think this maths is nice? Which is a sign of ne is negative sine 285. You see there, the negative, what if it was cos? Cos of a negative? Would have been positive. Positive, why? Because the guys are hugging their girlfriends. They're giving <laughs> them love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. You see, go down and get cozy, get cozy. Do Jay-Z doing trigonometry, you got it. Yes. Yeah, boy, okay, here we go. Now look at this, oh, come on now, come on, Mzansi. Look at this, 285 is the fourth quadrant. Now what did you do? Check it out on Moby School if you don't know what I'm doing now. Come on, fourth quadrant is 360 minus. See, so 360 minus 75 still gives you 285, no problem there. Now come on, according to that, the rule of quadrants, what is sine in the fourth quadrant? Come on, someone said it in Cape Town. Did you hear that? I think I heard it. Someone said it. It's Umpo from Cape Town. You're a legend, brother. You're a legend. Okay, that is it. I heard it across the nation. Mm -hmm. Someone said the sign of a negative angle is negative. Oh my word, Galeza Nati's rocking. Here we go, negative. The negative stays there, but the negative sign, sign of 360 minus, guys, is fourth quadrant. We do a lot of this at Moby School. And a minus times a minus is a? Plus, okay, yes. way to go. So let's have a look at this. Now, you look at 75, now what do you think? 75 is not special. Now remember guys in grade 11, you did special angles, grade 10 in fact, special angles. And they said, don't use a calculator. Now of course, what do we do with 75? What are the special angles? 30, 45 and 60. Okay, so but what do we do here? Look at this. This is so beautiful. Look at this. 75 is 45 plus 30. Sine A plus B. Okay, mm -hmm. now there is a formula for that. Okay, now what is it? Let's have a look at this. If you go and write this down here, look at this. Sine A plus B. There's a formula for sine A plus B. Now you go to the formula sheet and they tell you sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Now look how easy this is. You go to the formula sheet and you grab the formula for sine A plus B. And the thing is, when you've got 75, they always ask this in the trick, it's 45 plus 30, you see. And then of course, so if we apply that there, oh, Ado, I don't know about you, sister, I'm loving this, I'm loving this. I'm loving okay. this too, Mark. I'm loving it, look <laughs> at this. Sine 45 cos 30 plus cos 45, sine 30 is that not amazing you're using a formula that they give you and you're applying and remember matrix you're going to need to know your grade 11 stuff and you need to know your 10. okay so we're looking at some new formulas you might have done this in class okay now what do we do well 45 that's a special angle by the way you know what you can do guys with a casio calculator if you go and push sine 45 don't tell your teachers i'm telling you this if you push sine 45 it gives you the answer root two over two look at that but of course the, you know you have in your books you've got all the triangles or the circle but just a little tip from galeza nati you can actually check it in the calculator nobody knows you see see oh, there's a bit of a hint there okay now root two over two cos of 30 is root three over two cos of 45 is root two over two and sine of 30 is a half. And then all, what do you do? You simply then say root two times root three is root six over two times two is four, root two times one over two times two is four. And you simply get the lowest common denominator. And there you have it, the use of compound angles. Mm -hmm. As simple as and that, And I think, right you know, there. what we can do is, we go, I think we've got about a minute left there. We mm -hmm. can have a look at, so I just want to go and look at this one quickly. Have a look here, cos of a negative angle. 
it becomes positive cos, the sign of a negative. Just be careful, bring that out, okay, the negative out. And remember 740 is an angle bigger than 360. So what did we do? We reduce it down, okay. And um, sine 168, that purple one is 180 minus 12. And then you simply tidy this up here. Now sine A cos B minus cos A sine B is very simply put, that's gonna be the sine, if you think of it, it's sine A minus B, and you've got that there, which comes to 44 minus 20, which is sine 24. Now the double angle, watch this, sine 24, sine 12, you simply go like this, watch this. Sine 24, sine two times 12, which is two sine, cos, and they all cancel. It is time now for us to get the second question of the day from uh, the lovely gentleman just here besides me. But before that, his goals for, for himself. So I want to put it. Just before the cameras started rolling, he was just paparazzing everywhere. Now he's like, yeah, yeah, John uh, keep your cool. Can you put one camera like? I'm going to go to the next one. You might have for yourself in, in the next three years, maybe. Three years. Okay, we will go to the first thing. Uh, apply for a course uh, FET. Month letter for this year. I will put it on that side here to see which FET is going to go. But because it's going to be shy, sound engineering. Sure. So why sound engineering particularly? Why not? Why not be a medical doctor? Why not be... Um, an aircraft operator. Ah, uh, good man. It sounds very interesting to go your way about. I mean, and same thing is bad. I mean, this into very good now. So no, good teacher very no. So so we start to very so corner. Then so good very sound very. So good very so game the day. Yeah, but yeah, I would mind about talks and go on a lot. And some because and so about talks and so on. Some because no no very than the sound very. I'm about into very vulgar guy on that one. Yeah, but so. I actually got some Zawisha sort analysis. Oh, yeah, my strengths work. Oh, yeah, my weaknesses work. Okay, put on any question here for our teacher in studio. My question for the teacher is how do we know which formula to use for cos 2x? How do we know which formula to use for cos 2x? All right, let's help them zone out. Whoa, that's a good question, guys. Um, when do we use cos 2x? Bearing in mind that there's actually three formulas. Let's have a look at them. Let's write them down quickly. I'm going to write them down because this always gives a problem. Cos 2x could be, remember, it's cos squared x minus sine squared. That's the one option. The other one is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And the other one is 2 cos squared x minus 1. And what the question is saying is, which formula do we use when we do maths? Mm -hmm. Okay, now listen carefully. It's actually very simple. By the way, in an exam, you can use whichever one you want. You will get a mark for using a formula for cos 2x. Okay, so have a look at some examples where this applies. Have a look here. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna quickly get to the little arrow here and let's move on. Okay, here we go. Now here we've got identities to prove. Now look at this, there's cos 2x. Have a look there, let's just go back. And there's cos 2x. Now, which formula do we use? Now, have a look at this, okay. There's three personalities for cos mm -hmm. 2x. Do you agree, guys? Mm -hmm. In other words, there's three people that you could go out with, three goals you could go out with. Do you agree? Now, you gotta choose the one, okay, <laughs> for you. Okay, so you're gonna try them and, you know, Guys, they like girls, you know what I mean? And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna, you know, you'll try all three and then the one says to you, baby, I'm the one, I'm the one, and you marry her, do you see? Okay, now look at this. Now which one, listen to Mzanzi, which one are you gonna choose? Check this out, this is, this is good, good stuff, check this. Which one are you gonna use? Now look at this, here's cos 2x. Okay, now why do you think I'm going to choose this one? <laughs> Watch ya. Look at this, two cos squared x minus one. Do you see the magic? If I used cos squared minus sine squared, or one minus two sine squared x, do you see what happens? The ones can cancel. Mm -hmm. You're making it easier for yourself. She's the one. Honey, two cos squared x minus one. Baby, I'm gonna marry you. You and me, honey, you and me. You are just so cozy for me. <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> okay, so watch this. Now we cancel those. Now look at this. Isn't that beautiful? The twos are gonna go bye-bye. 
cos squared x over cos x, well that's cos times cos, which cancels with the one at the bottom, and you've got cos x. Isn't that amazing? Now have a look at this. If you take this one, ooh, sine 2x is not a problem, because there's only one, one formula for sine 2x, 2 sine x cos x. But this cos 2x, but we're looking for the one. In fact, we want to try and get rid of one. Okay, here we go. So look at this, one minus what? Look at the blue thing, now check this. I'm gonna use now in this case, one minus two sine squared. The sine 2x becomes two sine x cos. But look at how beautiful this is because when you multiply out, the minus times one is minus one, minus times a minus is a plus, those ones cancel. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Now look at that, when you've done that, all you now need to do is factorize. So you take out a sine on top, you take out the cos at the bottom, and these two brackets will cancel, and guess what? Sine over cos becomes tan.